Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about DNA. And I have sent my DNA and my family's DNA um, to a couple places so far. Um, I actually did the ancestry.ca um, um, surname DNA test a long time ago, and of course it wasn't me, because I don't have a Y chromosome. Um, so I sent my brothers. And through that we were able to connect with some people, and also through that we kind of came to the conclusion that I don't think that we are biological great tricks. And through that I was able to talk with family members and find out that there was rumors that my grandfather, uh, my great grandmother might have had a child outside of her marriage. And so it caused a lot of trouble in their marriage and at one point and apparently so much so that my great-grandfather didn't even put his name on the birth certificate of my grandfather and when they finally split up and he kind of sent her away to go live with her family um, he eventually did put his name on his birth certificate at two years old so that's what I kind of found out through that thing so then I sent my DNA to 23andMe and I learned a lot of information about myself so from that, um, I basically confirmed a lot of the research that I've done, but it's also made me really question, um, it made me realize that even though the DNA stuff is great, it also isn't 100% proof because they're really just really guessing as much as possible, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, so here, here, here's my 23andMe DNA results. So here was my ancestry report. Uh, you can see, pretty colorful. Um, I identify myself with being half Native American and half white. Um, but I do know quite a bit about my father's side of the family who is uh, mostly European. And um, I do know a lot about my mother's family who is Native American. And one of the things that I've noticed is that uh, like Native American usually is this whole area and I think it's just because they don't have a lot of samples from the Native American part but yeah anyways it's just fun and it's not really like exact science either they're just testing people from those areas and then because if you share any sort of DNA with them they kind of assume and make an estimated guess that that's where you're from um, so I find the Native American ones are not really that accurate. Anyways, so mine. So I apparently am 57.9% European. Um, so yeah, and I do know that like from my Europeanness, or uh, for my Caucasian side, I am mostly English, and then um, French and German, and then Scandinavian. Or French and German and then um, uh, Swedish so yeah nothing new there one of the things that I notice is if you keep coming back here because the more samples they get from people the more they're able to compare it against each other and so these these percentages will change or they'll or different ones will be added so when I first did this I didn't have Iberian and I also didn't have Oceanan I didn't have that and I was more sub sub Saharan African before but now I'm less so I don't know and yeah and so here's my timeline and again it coincides with what I know which is the British Irish so again like from my dad's side I'm yeah my dad's like 99.9% .9 like British Irish kind of thing and then also from my dad's side um, my great grandmother was my great grandmother was half German and then French and English and then um, on my dad's side also his mother so my dad's maternal great grandparents were Scandinavian or Swedish so that's where the Swedish comes from or the Scandinavian so yeah um, so this makes sense with what I know and what I've been told. So this makes sense. Uh, what doesn't make sense is, again, these ones and this one. Because 
Um, my mother comes from a very isolated community, and even though we had a lot of, like, uh, the Hudson Bay Company that came, you know, were settled near Hudson Bay, James Bay, um, my mother's family is mostly Native American. And also, but there is a rumor that um, my mother does have a Scottish grandparent somewhere. It was either full Scottish or half Scottish. I don't know. didn't understand. So, yeah. So where did I get this from? It tells you I've actually sent in my father's DNA and that's why mine might have changed a little bit too. And um, I've tried to, I'm trying to convince my mom to join, but she's not really, yeah, she thinks it's a waste of money. <laughs> and maybe she's right. Um, but yeah, so this is mostly European, because where I get my Europeanness from is from my dad, yeah. And then he has less than 1% East Asian and Native American. Um, I think my dad's family thinks that they have some distant Native American heritage and we haven't found it, but they're pretty sure this is it. I don't know. And then the Sub-Saharan African also comes from my father's side of the family. And yeah, and then unassigned. And then my mom again, because I think we had my mom's grandparent was like either half Scottish or full Scottish or something. That's where that came from. But most of it is East Asian. And then all this stuff, which I think is still part of the East Asian because they're really just guessing here. And and then the 1.9% is un unassigned. So if even if I had like a great grandparent who was like half Scottish or whatever, it would make sense that I'm like more closer to like 40 something percent Native American and not 50%, which is what I normally identify with being. Yeah. So that was all my DNA data results. Um, another thing that they actually is actually really cool. So if you go to your summary reports and go to your ancestry, um, because I have my father's on there and mine, I do have a uh, maternal line and I do have a paternal line as well. And so my maternal haplogroup is A21, which is widely known for like Native Americans and the migration. And also, uh, I think something about the the Ice Age and also the that lady who was like um, frozen. I think she was like the Ice Princess or something like that. Um, and she was A two, A two as well. So that means that we are come from the same maternal line. I don't know if it says it here, but I thought it did. Yeah. So that's my paternal line. I mean, this is my maternal line. So this is my mother's 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 mother's. And you go all the way back to the first woman in Africa. And yeah, so that's my, my maternal line. And then we go back. If we go to my father's line, which is, it used to be, okay, so they're going by a different system now. It used to be like RH1B something, something, something. Um, but now they changed the system to RM405. And again, they're tracing, you know, the migration pattern of the one male that my father's father's father, 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 father and so on, so on, so on is related to and yeah I think the cool thing is so one in 1723 million customers share this haplogroup group assignment which is awesome um, one of the things that's cool is my paternal line I share um, a paternal line a paternal line ancestor with King Louis the 14th right 14th no 16th No, King Louis the 16th. So I share a paternal ancestor, 
King Louis the 16th. And um, because I do follow genealogy a lot too, I do know that I think I am a descendant of um, William the Conqueror, his ball team. Um, so I guess that would make sense. Yeah, so I'm pretty English. Outside with being Native American. <laughs> so from that, one of the things that I also wanted to say, which this is where where I'm not 100% confident in it as well. Um, I've met people who are, um, because I've submitted my father's DNA on here, um, I know that... There are some people who um, show up on here for the for the um, DNA relatives, and they will they show up here as related to my father, but for some reason won't show up in my as related to me. And in my DNA relatives, just to put your worries aside, my father is my father. Um, even the DNA will tell you I literally share half his DNA literally um it's actually 49.9 .9 shared segments because i'm half my father um so yeah so my father is my father but then why does people who sh why do people who show up in my father related to my father not show up related to me so um this has been a very talked about subject in my genealogy group, especially in our family group. Um, I belong to a big family group that we started a long time ago. And this is why I know so much about my family is because I met a lot of cousins, fourth cousins, second cousins, whatever, who really love genealogy as well as much as I do and have actually invested money into research and hiring researchers into researching our family. And so that's why I know so much information. And from these conversations, you know, we talked about like, um, I used to say like I'm not a real great tricks, but then some of my cousins got kind of I wouldn't say mad But they were like no, you're still our cousin. You're still related to us. You're still our family Like if anything, we're still related through marriage and yeah, we're still family. So yeah <laughs> So I stopped saying that because I know that they okay Not were hurt by it, but yeah, it just yeah, I didn't want to make it seem like I'm I'm not belonging to the family because I'm a great trick. So yeah. Um, so um, one of my cousins actually messaged me, and another cousin of mine who we are cousins, um, but we do not show up as being related. And so he suggested that we try this new one called Family Tree DNA. And they're more for finding lost relatives, and they, he, because he's done all the, the tests as well too, and he suggested, because they were having a sale, that we check out uh, this test and send in our DNA and put to bed for, like, once and for all, if or not, we are related. Because this apparently is going to really really answer those questions and apparently it's supposed to be better for tracking because the, the 23 and me is more for like ancestry things and like genetic reports and stuff and that's kind of what it's known for but the dna relatives like i said i've already i've already noticed an issue with that <laughs> because if people are related to my dad but not showing up for me and saying we're not related like there has to be something about that, right? So um, that's what I'm gonna do. I got my little kit in the mail. Um, because I had a promotion, it did take forever, by the way. Um, so I'm going to be putting in my uh, family tree DNA. And my other cousin has done it as well. And we are going to see what our results are and put to bed any rumors or any conversations about whether or not my grandfather was really my great-grandfather's son. Um, 
if it still comes back with the other two DNA tests that tells us that um, we are not related and that that's not the case, again, we are still family. I still belong to the family <laughs> and I'm still a great trick, so. But it does make me think, it does make me think if um, my great-grandfather is not my real great-grandfather or biological great-grandfather, who is my great-grandfather? <laughs> I think that'd be very interesting. Um, and I would definitely, I don't know how I would go about finding that out because just from the story that I've heard about how my great-grandmother um, got pregnant just sounds very like there's no way I'm gonna find out no way and I'll just have to accept that even though I really like finding about genealogy so yeah so I'm gonna do the test here's all the tests it says uh, gave me two little vials I swab the inside of my cheek I place it in the tab I snap it off I twist it tight I repeat two to three more times I put in two of the bottles I place in the plastic bag and I seal it back in the envelope that they gave me and I ship it away and that's it easy peasy let's see if I'm really a great tricks or not and I will update you as soon as the results come back in so I'll see you then make sure to subscribe so that when I do get my results in, you'll get notified. There's a little bell, click on that too. Um, so you'll get notifications when I post. Or if not, you can follow me on social media. I always post when, I always post on social media when I do post another video. And yeah, and comment and let me know, have you tried the DNA test? Is there one that's special for you? Or have you not? Like, do you think it's just crap? Am I wasting my money? <laughs> let me know, let me know what you think. Talk to you soon.